Yo guys, welcome to the video. So in the past, I've done real detailed long videos on season previews. This year, I'm doing the opposite, getting straight to the point with my views on the playoffs, Super Bowl contenders, stat leaders, and rookies. Let me know your thoughts below, guys. Do you agree with me on any of these? Do you think completely differently? Comment below. And let's get straight into it, starting with the AFC. Let's begin with the AFC East. Now, I am getting on the Jets and Rogers hype train here. We get echoes of the Tampa Bay Bucks in 2020 when Tom Brady came in, and I feel they're building a team around this guy to make a Super Bowl run very swiftly. They will make the playoffs, in my opinion, and I think we'll see very swiftly if they are the real deal. A week one matchup, of course, coming against the Bills, week two on the road to Dallas, and then a week four matchup with the defending Super Bowl champs, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going for the Jets and the Bills both to make the playoffs from the East with the Dolphins agonizingly missing out again this year. For the FC North, despite the injuries scare for Joe Burrow, it looks like he's going to be back week one and not miss any time. It's a toss up for me between the Bengals and the Ravens for the division win. And I will go narrowly for the Ravens to take this with the Bengals also making the playoffs. It's going to be a very competitive division too, because watch out for the Steelers with a great defense and obviously all those weapons now offensively. I can see a rejuvenated Deshaun Watson this year. Not sure everybody would agree with me here, but the foundations are there with the team and they could certainly be a tough opposition for anybody in the AFC come January. The AFC South is easy for me. Jaguars all the way. Jaguars are taking this division, no troubles at all. Definitely no other playoff teams coming from this division. Titans for the number two spot. Colts and the Texans could actually potentially be fighting it out for the number one pick in next year's draft. The West again, a toss up between the Chiefs and the Chargers with both going to the playoffs for me. I think the Broncos will have a solid year without doing anything too spectacular. And onto the Raiders, I think they are really gonna struggle this year. I don't know if Jimmy G is the right fit for them there, but look for them to have a very poor record and it will very much be a rebuild season for them. So just to recap the AFC playoff teams I'm picking here, the Jets and the Bills, Bengals, Ravens, Jaguars, and the Chiefs and Chargers. So onto the NFC starting with the East, and it's the Eagles that get the division for me, coming on the back of that agonizing Super Bowl loss last season. Look for them to bounce back, they're going to have a fully fit Jalen Hurts, along with their exceptional offensive and defensive lines. I'm also very interested to see their rushing game. Obviously, Jalen Hurts, a big rushing quarterback. They also now bring in DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny to that backfield, so they could be a dual threat in the running game. I do also see the Cowboys coming through only just. I think they have some struggles this season. I wanted to go with the Giants to get back into the playoffs, but I think they'll be narrowly missing out. Of course, the Commanders, they've got a mammoth task this year. I think they're going to really struggle and ultimately be the bottom of the division. In NFC North, I feel it's the Lions division for the taking. They've been building that team for the last few years with great draft pick and bringing in lots of players. I don't personally see Jordan Love coming in and taking the Packers to the playoffs on his first year as a starter. So we've got the Packers missing out. And call me crazy, I actually quite fancy the Bears to get the number two spot and ultimately get into the playoffs. I think the Vikings could struggle this year. Kirk Cousins is a very streaky, hot and cold quarterback. Obviously, a lot of their offense rests on Justin Jefferson. No more Dalvin Cook. I actually think Jefferson might disappoint some people this year. I think the rookie Addison coming in could pick up quite a bit in terms of numbers in his rookie year. But I do see the Vikings actually missing out on the playoffs. Moving on to the South, I'm with the Saints this year. It feels like it's been a few years since the Saints have been serious contenders to make a playoff run. They now finally have their guy in Derek Carr leading the team. And obviously, along with a very good defense, they're going to do very well. Falcons, for me, take the second spot very closely, followed by the Bucks. I actually think Baker Mayfield could surprise a few people, and the Bucks won't be as bad as some people are thinking. And I actually think that Bryce Young could have some struggles in his first year as well. The West, it's very easy for me. 49ers take the division. Seahawks coming out in second place. And the Rams and Cardinals are both going to struggle this year. Cardinals, I think, really in turmoil at the moment. They could well be a contender for the number one draft pick again as well next season. In the AFC, I'll go Eagles, Cowboys, Lions, Bears, Saints, Falcons, and 49ers. So let's move on to stats leaders. Let's start with passing yards. I'm going to go for the boy Justin Herbert to lead in passing yards this year. Obviously look for Allen and Mahomes in this category too, but I think Justin Herbert is going to be putting up some big numbers this year and lead in passing yards. Rushing leader, Nick Chubb in this category. He's a machine. They're going to need him on that Browns offense. Obviously look for the likes of Derrick Henry as well in this category, but Nick Chubb for me, rushing leader. And then moving on to receiving leader, I'm actually going to go Jamar Chase 
to lead in receiving. As I said earlier, I think JJ might struggle a little bit this year and I can see Kirk Cousins finding connection with the rookie Addison and other receivers. I think Jamar Chase is set for another big year. And I've got him coming out as receiving leader. Most scrimmage yards, I'm going to go for Tony Pollard. He's such a weapon to the Cowboys. They'll use him a lot. Obviously, no Elliott. He's big in the rushing game, but he's also going to be big in the receiving game as well. He's going to be a utility back, very much like Eckler is to the Chargers. And I think he's going to put up a lot of big numbers and really help that Cowboys offense fire this season. Moving on to the MVP. I'm going maybe a controversial one here, but you know my thoughts on the Jets already. I think the boy, Aaron Rodgers, gets it done this season, gets the MVP takes the Jets into the playoffs. For rookies, Offensive Rookie of the Year, obviously there's a lot of hype around BJ Johnson. I think he will have a good season. I'm actually gonna pick Jordan Addison for the Vikings over him. I think he could actually put up some great numbers. And although I'm not picking the Vikings for the playoffs, Jefferson and Addison could be a hell of a duo going into this season. And it'd be interesting to see what he can do in his rookie year. Defensive Rookie of the Year, I'm gonna go Jalen Carter. A lot of people probably saying Will Anderson, but what a team for Carter to be coming into. The Eagles are going to be firing in all directions and Jalen Carter will be a great addition for their defence too. On to Super Bowl contenders. I think this season the Super Bowl goes to the AFC. I think in the NFC it's going to be a matchup between the 49ers and the Eagles. And I expect it to be and hopefully it will be the NFC Championship game. Also look out for the Saints as well in this conference if either the 49ers or Eagles falter in the playoffs. But the AFC is absolutely stacked with contenders, obviously the usual suspects in terms of the Chiefs, Bills, Bengals, they're all going to be there. Obviously, I'm building up the Jets a bit this season. I'm obviously a Chargers fan and I always big up their chances and I think we will go to the playoffs, but I'm going to take any bias away from this. Obviously, the Chiefs are going to be very hard for the Jets to beat. But I'm going to go for Aaron Rodgers. He gets the Jets that second Super Bowl. He gets his own second Super Bowl ring. And he's going to have an MVP season. And take the Jets to that Super Bowl and getting it done for them in the big game in February. Guys, let me know your comments below. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that don't agree with me on the Jets. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? Let me know. Let me know your division predictions. And I'll see you in the next video.